On the table today we have 2014 McDonald's Happy Meal Pokemon Pokeballs. Actually, they're more Poke Discs when you start to look at them, but they're still really fascinating. We've got 12 different Poke Balls to collect, and as you can see, there are 12 different colors. I think they picked pretty much everything in the spectrum. The Poke Balls actually make up a pretty basic game, but it's pretty fun. Usually in the past, we're treated to little toys of the Pokemon characters, and it's kind of nice to see a change of direction this time. Let's look at these Poke Pucks a little closer. Looking a little closer at the Poke Ball, or Poke Puck, which I like to call it as it kind of resembles a hockey puck, you have an outer casing of a Poke Ball and an inner casing of a disc that shoots out when you squeeze the sides with your fingers. Let's check that out now. They actually shoot really far, so you'll want to have something to knock them against or a big table. Uh, what we have is a neat little Pokemon character that flips out out of the recess on the desk here. And then you have the game inside, which follows your standard game of rock, paper, scissors. Only it's circles, X's, and squares. Luckily, McDonald's includes a little guide to tell you what beats what. Uh, X defeats square, square defeats circle, and circle defeats X. Or if you look on the inside of your puck, you'll see the guide on who wins what. So when you're playing with a friend, you each secretly pick what you want to go as your character's uh, code and shoot them at each other and whoever beats whoever wins the game. So to run through gameplay one more time, if I was Billy and I played Pikachu, I would pick maybe Square and load up my launcher. And if I were Conrad and I played Venusaur, I would load up maybe Circle as my weapon of choice. When attacking one another, you can certainly try to ram each other and see what happens. Oops, Venusaur went flying on that one. Anyhow, obviously we've got Circle and Square. Square defeats Circle, so Pikachu is the winner of this battle. Looking a little closer at the Pokemon Launcher, we have Pikachu here, and each Pokemon is covered with a little bit of a plastic covering, which is really nice, kind of highlights how cool this toy is. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of relief, too, where his eyes and cheeks are, so that's kind of a nice effect. Also, on the flat part here, where they pop up in the relief, it's themed after the Pokemon, so we have lightning bolts for Pikachu. Let's check out all the other characters with the announcer completely obliterating all the pronunciations of the Pokemons. Chase Bin. Blastoise. Fennekin Pancham Vanuusor Frogi Zernius Charizard Q 
heliotile. I have Eltol. Mew too. For the people who think that the Poke Puck game is a little too simple for their Pokemon tastes, Luckily, McDonald's has included Pokemon cards with the games here, and these are some of the random cards that I was able to collect with the 12 Poke Pucks that I got. We have a Chespin, we have a Finnegan, we have a Honage, a Fletchling, a Snubbull, a Weedle, a Furfrow, a Froki, a Swirlix, and a Pikachu! So that is Happy Meals 2014 Pokemon offering. Not a bad little game, a little different than what we've seen before with the different figures. I wouldn't say you have to collect the entire 12 piece collection to have fun. Maybe just three or four pieces and you will have some entertaining rock, paper, scissors action. Unless you're that major Pokemon fan or crazy enough like me to collect the whole entire thing, then go for it, you know? I can't stop you. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede.